quiet in the bedroom, Chief. You were right to call the authorities, Mrs. Sinclair. When citizens take the law into their own hands, we police have very little to do. Chief, uh, we've completed that initial investigation of the child's room. Ah, excellent. Report. Ah, uh, back here, sir. Good. Right. Ah, uh, yes, sir, Chief. The whole check's out. We're clearly dealing with a monster. Mm. You're sure about that? Oh, yeah. Big spider webs, mm. eerie dripping sounds, torches yeah. on the walls. It's a 317, all right. 317? Strawberry shortcake, raspberry tart, and sour grapes? Been shrunk. We get them all the time, ma'am. Really? What kind of a monster is it? Well, from the physical evidence, I'd say the subject is a male. Web claws, about 300 pounds, with lots of spooky little googly eyes all over its head. Oh! I'm just guessing on the eye thing. Now try and stay calm, Mrs. Sinclair. The situation is under control. Those girls are in the competent hands of trained law enforcement professionals. Hey, everybody! We're gonna be on TV! Go, oh, goody! <laughs> Call my mom. Tell her to take this. 10 4. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Here is DNN senior correspondent Howard Hand Up Me. Good afternoon. The standoff between local police and the scary monster under the bed continues at this hour as negotiators search for a way to communicate with the beast. Police Chief Parrish, any luck making contact with the creature? No, Howard. I'm afraid we're pretty much out of ideas at this point. If only it were as easy as picking up a telephone and calling the creature itself. But then there are no easy answers in police work. would you say, Chief? Robbie, can you hear me? Are you all right? And I dress too matchy-matchy. Is that you? What? She does. Earl, do something! Ubi? <laughs> hey, look, when I talk on the telephone, it comes out of the TV. <laughs> Meek. Hello, my name is Earl. I am now talking into the telephone. Please, sir. I know how to handle this. We calm what? him down, establish a rapport. Oh. <clears throat> Strawberry! Did you ever share a hot cocoa with your dad? Hello, oh, We can be friends again, if you say sorry. <laughs> well, it's just because I care so darn much. Oh. Now release those kids, dirtbag, or we'll turn you off like a light switch! Wow. You don't have the guts! I dare you! Go ahead, scaredy pants! Do it! Do it! He's clearly unstable. We'd better move in. Everyone ready? Yep. Count of three. One. Two. Three! Let's go! Earl, you've got to stop them! Hold it! What? Gets us home by six. Okay. <gasps> Isn't that wonderful, Earl? Well, I don't know how I feel until TV tells me. Sour Grapes, you are the best group hug time, am I right? You're at an 11, and I'm going to need you at, like, a 1.5. Got it. No hugs. Oh, good. I, I better go. Bite of the City's on soon. I know. I'm going to watch it, too. Hey, uh, do you want to... Want to what? Mm, never mind. Oh, uh, okay then. S see you around. Welcome to Bite of the City. <laughs> <laughs>